I was going to manage to call Crow 34, I mean, they do another review of Matthew the Dinosaur King's Prehistoric Island series, and in his episode 11, Return of the King Part 1, which means episode 12 will be Return of the King Part 2. If it's not, then uh, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> so we start off the episode with um, Alex, Sam, and the Sora Poseidon, and Sam's babies. Sam has babies. <laughs> so Sam's given birth to, I can't exactly remember, uh, six, seven babies, I think. Um, yeah, so they're out grazing on the plains, and all of a sudden, the Agrocanthosaurus pack return, but this time they have the backup of their Alpha, who has been scouting out a new territory for them, but unfortunately, no, apparently not. So yeah, um, they attack, and yeah, they attack the they attack the herd. Um, luckily, Sam, uh, the Sora Poseidon, and Alex, they managed to get uh, this, the babies in between them, so they could protect them, but... Problem is, is that the Acrocanthosaurus pack are Acrocanthosauruses, and as we all know, Acrocanthosauruses are dangerous against sauropods. So, uh, the Alpha Acro actually manages to take Alex down, even though Alex is an Amargosaurus with those massive wicked spines on his neck, but yeah, this is a pretty badass Acrocanthosaurus. So yeah, uh, he takes him down, he pins him down to the ground, but all this commotion ends up... Um, Alerting the rest of the uh, squad of like predators. So you've got Guanji, um, Alice, uh, uh, ch who else? Grayskull, uh, Nefertiti, and her young um, brutes, and just a whole plethora. And the uh, the Utah Raptor pack. So Ivy and Harley and Harley's mate. Uh, just the whole plethora of animals, and they're all like waiting to. Um, get their chance in to hopefully feed on the sauropods if the Acrocanthosaurus is successful. But unfortunately the other big theropod in the yeah, in the valley or in the area has been alerted. So then the rogue male comes along and he's like, Ray, I'm here and I'm gonna kill you uh, well I'm gonna kill you all if you don't get out of my way. None of them move. Um the entire lot uh Brute, um Nefertiti and the Allosaurs, they decide to stand their ground Unfortunately, this doesn't work out well because the rogue just wrecks them all. Like, I'm talking, he destroys them all with just like a couple of swipes of his head, and that's it. You know, they're all dead. Well, not they're not all dead, they're just all a bit oof, a bit bruised. So then, um, then the rogue male decides to turn his attention towards something else. The rogue then attacks uh, the Acrocanthosaurus male and actually like gets him to the ground and then uh, I think in all this commotion as well, um, as well as not only just that but then the entire squad of like predators and theropods just attack the rogue male and the rogue male shrugs him all off and uh, the rogue male just you know wrecks everyone pretty much and the sauropods manage to run for it uh, luckily which is quite good so they're out of the picture they're safe which is pretty good so I guess uh, the sauropods will live on I guess hopefully or maybe Matthew might kill them off or maybe something Something else will happen in the next episode. Um, but yeah, um, the sauropods managed to get away. The Acrocanthosaurus Alpha is being destroyed by ro uh, by the rogue, and the rogue realizes that his prey has got away. So he's like, "I'm gonna eat me some acro." But uh, before he can do that, the rest of the squad just come in and they just try to attack him. Um, and before it can actually eat someone uh, in particular, and those particular th that particular person is like. Ivy, Harley, and her mate, um, someone actually comes back. So then um, a mysterious raptor, Utah raptor, attacks uh, the rogue and ends up actually gouging out his eye and then is thrown off. And uh, the raptor is actually, yeah, is actually slashed from the first few episodes. Uh, the raptor that made a kerfuffle of everything and ended up getting his father killed, I think, by Malachite. And uh, yeah, uh, the rest of the raptors are like, oh, mate, it's so good to see you. But then the rogue just, rip, uh, just wrecks him again. And... Um, yeah, but it's really nice that Slash came back, and instead of being a dumb, clumsy raptor, he's actually quite skillful. I mean, he gouged the rogue's eye out. Yeah, I'll repeat it again. Slash gouged 
the rogue's eye out. So that, that definitely says something in my mind about him. But um, yeah, he wrecks, he wrecks everyone else. Uh, but before he can actually go and kill the Acrocanthosaurus Alpha, which he decides to be like, oh, I'm going to eat you, mate. Um, you hear a massive roar. And then, and then, Malachite and his family and the Carcarodosaurus return and they are at full strength now. They are here to stop this rogue and they're here to kill him. But unfortunately, that's where the episode ends. Um, really interesting episode. It was just one big fight, but... It told the fight, told the story in itself. The whole thing told the story in itself. This rogue is dangerous. Um, and it just shows that even with so many predators attacking him, there's not enough. There's not enough to take him down. Um, so hopefully, there's got to be a way for them to actually um, destroy this rogue. Um, maybe even if... Uh, I think I said a couple of, a couple of episodes back. Maybe even if a, like, maybe a Giganotosaur gets involved. Like, the, the lost... Like son of slash of slayer and maybe he's like hey i'm not like my dad i'm gonna come and help you mate and like maybe he gets involved or something like that but i don't know uh but i'm really looking forward to part 12 um i'm really looking forward to it <laughs> oh man but um yeah i think matthew so far has done a really good job with like building and building and building and building towards the finale of this episode of this entire story which is really interesting uh but i think what what this story might be in trouble with is that Rogue is so strong that I just can't see Malachite um, actually beating him. Uh, but maybe he will. I don't know. Maybe Malachite will find a way because Malachite always finds a way. Malachite always finds a way. Yeah. So, yeah. But uh hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like and subscribe. You know, stuff like that. Uh, definitely go over to Matthew Dinosaur King's um, YouTube channel because, I mean, he's one of my best mates on youtube he's great at these videos and yeah i've been really waiting for this one and i do not regret it all uh and it did not disappoint as well which is really good so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you later bye, -bye.